Hey folks, this is Matt Doyle, MLSsoccer.com's armchair analyst, taking a look at the key matchups in the U.S. national team's World Cup qualifying opening game against Antigua and Barbuda on Friday at 7 p.m. on ESPN. Point number one for the U.S. is where has the offense gone? The last 180 minutes they've played, they got beat 4-1 by Brazil, did have 17 shots, only made one of them count, and then they had a really flaccid 90 minutes against Canada. The legs just weren't there, according to Jurgen Klinsmann, probably because of the two-a-day practices he held for the week and a half leading up to that game. Now the hope will be Klinsmann goes a little lighter on them ahead of World Cup qualifiers, and he should, because they need to have their legs back for a must-win game. Point number two is that for a CONCACAF minnow, we should expect an unusually organized Antigua and Barbuda side. This is a team that plays together for the most part on the Antigua Barracuda in USL Pro, the third division in the U.S., and the top team, obviously, in Antigua. So they'll know each other, they'll trust each other, they've had plenty of practice working together, and they should know how to bunker and try to protect a nil-nil result, which would be good as gold to them on the road. Point number three for the U.S., then, is just making the talent differential count. These are guys who have been there before in the World Cup. They play in some of the top leagues in the world. They know what it takes to get it done in a game that matters. Antigua and Barbuda, for all their organization, are still a team that plays in the third level of the U.S. pyramid. So this is a chance for guys like Clinton Dempsey, Landon Donovan, Fabian Johnson, Michael Bradley, Josie Altidore, all these guys who have done it before at the highest of levels. This is a chance for them to really run it up. Break the game open early, put them on the back foot, and crush their confidence in the first 15 minutes. If Antigua survives that, it could be a tough slog for the U.S. On the flip side, if they don't, we could see the U.S. run up the score as they've done on Caribbean sides in the past.